We employ a three-tier system at Bank of America to mitigate fraud and viewability. Our first line of defense is integral ad science, which is integrated into our buying stack. But we also audit with moat for viewability and white ops for fraud. And what we found is the three-tier system is able to detect about 22% more total inventory that does not meet our standard, which we've then been able to go back to the industry and get make goods on. And so we've actively addressed the issue of the different taxonomies that are used to determine what is fraud and what is a viewable impression. And by doing that, not only have we raised the bar and been able to secure value in exchange for clearly things that clearly don't meet our standard, we've also raised the bar with the publisher community as a result. I think we as, um, as marketers today are really coming towards the end of the advertising era. The consumer is in control like never before. Increasingly, she is looking at content on her mobile phone. The mouse is not as quick as the thumb and we're competing for attention now. People are not going to interact with advertising that is not highly personalized and highly relevant to what I'm doing right now. We like to say that today behavior trumps context, but in the near term future, context will trump behavior. The signal that we will be really looking at is, what is the immediate context of this person? What is their mindset, their motivation, and their need state? What do I have that is relevant there? Philosophically, we're doing things like thinking about products not as pure play products like we have for a long time, but actually as solutions and how to position them in those contexts. We're looking at relationships over time versus the efficiency of individual interaction. So at the top of the house, the focus is really to cultivate the relationship and build it with value-added content, with offers that are relevant in the right time, with utilities that are really useful to people. And it's a journey. It's an exciting journey, though, because what we're finding is that when we do personalize for, for people, they're much more engaged with our offers, and it just builds an affinity for the brand, which is something that's important to us. I think measurement is going to be a bar that needs to be continuously raised. I applaud the 3MS work that was led by the MRC to set a floor. We need to continue to build on top of that floor. I think that every business has a different truth, but at the end of the day, we want to be relevant to individuals at the scale of digital. So we need to have a measurement system that allows us to see over a long term uh, how that is impacting the relationship. Viewability standards need to be raised. I don't think that there is an opportunity to really understand a message in two seconds. And I think that we need to be able to say a fully engaged consumer who has been exposed to a longer than two second message is going to have a very different trajectory than someone who just sees two seconds while they're slowly swiping through uh, their feed. So I think it starts with the right conversations. And I think marketers need to say that the ROI model is changing from individual transactions to a longer term and then building routines that deliver against that. We're looking at audiences in a very different way. We're prioritizing data as a must have. We're looking at a lot of things like full episode players, time shifted viewing, where we can really get to an engaged audience with a path back and putting a priority there. We're finding tremendous value. We're finding the marketplace is relatively soft there. So we're still participating in the upfront. We are big believers in the original content that uniquely comes from that industry. But for us, it's the places and spaces where we know we have their attention, that we're going to get some data, and we potentially have a pathway back. And we're, we're betting with our money in those environments. Really, it's technology that facilitates CRM. It's the ability to use new attribution models that are able to capture more and more of the customer journey. And it's, it's really understanding mindset and motivation from platforms like Network Insights that give you emotional signal. And not just emotional, but, but really, interest graph and so you really need to have an interest graph you need to have a device graph you really need to have some notion of a people graph and you need to start to figure out how these things work together and for us right now it's just wiring that plumbing and then doing a lot of experimentation